so typically in in software sales, um, especially in the era of uh, SaaS software as a service, uh, typically it's looked upon as a, a sales development role. It is looked upon as an entry level role. Um, now, when I started in 2012, that certainly was the case. You're kind of qualifying in man leads and, and things like that. More so, I think past six, eight, eight years now. I mean, the the trend is um, uh, is is not so much the case. Um, it really depends on how your organization is structured and and what type of resources and support that is kind of given and importance that's given to uh, a sales development or business development role. But um, for by and large, it is uh, can be an entry level role, and you're basically again. Either it's going to be inbound qualification of leads, so whether that's going to be inbound phone calls or um, following up on people who um, type in a contact uh, sales contact form or um, fill out their information to get a white paper or something. Those are going to be defined as leads. So either you're following up on those and those are defined as inbound leads or um, you're going to be a uh, outbound business development or sales development uh, rep. And that's going to be kind of cold outreach, you know, going through Sales Navigator on LinkedIn, finding people who fit that persona, your buying profile, and um, creating email campaigns to get their attention, um, adding value, sending them white papers, or um, sending them case studies, and basically garnering that interest enough for them to reply and, and book a meeting. Um, and that is going to be that inbound slash outbound um, aspect of, of sales or business development. And then typically that, that next level up is going to be your, um, your inside sales role, uh, inside sales rep or an account executive rep. Um, and someone who's looking to make a break into technology sales, or maybe they're, um, you know, just out of college and, and uh, trying to get their feet wet. So you'll uh, typically start as an account executive for a, um, SMB uh, segment, uh, which is you know small and medium sized business or, or small business, and um, that that main difference is, in addition to the leads that you are maybe following up on yourself, you follow up on the ones that your sales development or business development reps are um, giving to you, and you're doing a full sales cycle. Uh, what that essentially means is, you know, if that meeting is booked by your sales development rep, you'll hold that meeting, follow up on that meeting. You're just doing further discovery. Um, you know, are they the correct person? What, uh, what pain points do they have? What are they looking for in a, in a solution? So in, in respect to Zoom, um, you know, what other video conferencing, video conferencing uh, solutions are they using? What internal collaboration platforms are they using? Do they use Slack internally? Are they strictly just uh, sending emails and, and, and phone calls. Um, you know, what does their conference room collaboration experience look like? Is it video conferencing enabled? Asking those probing questions to see how um, Zoom would fit into those. Uh, if there is an opportunity or, you know, are they already in contract with an existing provider? Various things like that. Um, ultimately, you know, uh, along with that need and, and having a budget and uh, uh, a timeline and things like that, are, are all important, right? Because you you don't ultimately want to spend too much time um, meeting with someone or discussing with someone if they have a two three year contract, and um, you you just have to be really wise in in how you spend your time. Time is a precious thing. Waste it wisely, as I've heard once. 